call me Fuego. 93 like me. Fire in the sheets, spending summers on the seas. Quedo, no way. At the moment, it really is looking like Team Liquid. Two chicken dinners in a row for them right now. And they're looking supreme on Miramar today. Uh, managing to rotate at the right time and just grabbing those central 5th, 6th, 7th circles. And being in a really commanding position as they close out. Will they be able to do it three times in a row and get the hat trick? That is what remains to be seen this time around. 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock plane path. More or less splitting the map right down the middle with a maybe slight bias to the east side here, but honestly not by much. If Fuzzface opens that door. Oh my god, T-Bone's in the middle of all of it! T-Bone gets the kill. Well, what's going on with Marv now? Marv must be going, hang on a sec, what is happening here? The rest of Phase Clan are moving in, and so are Omikin! Okay, 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 okay. Marv, if I were you, mate, I would run away, and I would run away right the hell now. Oh no, he's gonna see Paige. Marv, you do not want to take this fight. Marv, you do not want to take this fight! Marv took this fight. Oh, Marv took this fight. And that's a point to Omakin. And now suddenly Gustav is the last member of phase not in this compound. And Omakin have taken the northern building. Just like that. That was very, very tense. Team Liquid, Game Frame, and Blaze are in a similar position to last time. You'll recall last time around there was a little bit of a fight for Impala. Just before, unfortunately, uh, we had to abandon game number one. This time around... We have a more of a fight in San Martin with potential and Besiktas are continuing to pummel each other prior to rotating out, and that is two players down now for with potential. It's got to be a push now. There has to be. Look at how little loot these guys have managed to get. Have we timed this nade right? Oh, we might have done! Oh, what a beautiful second nade as well. Mike is getting very low, and that's it. With potential eliminated in last place. Finally, tensions boiling over in game number three. Besiktas Esports, with all four members left alive, will be able to rotate out of San Martin unimpeded. That was a big, big deal. Vard, unfortunately, the first player... Ooh. Aitzi? Oh, Aitzi must have got knocked as he was holding a grenade! And we just missed that. I'm very sorry about that, guys. We literally just missed the rest of FaZe Clan going down to Omakin, who did take that northern building before, so they pushed in there while that fight in San Martin was ending. And FaZe Clan actually make an early exit from game number three here. We now have another fight to move straight into. One HP! For Rafa from M4 C Shark. Gonna molly the entrances and use that as an opportunity to get safe and heal up. I mean, kind of has to at this point. Three members of M4 still alive, but Rafa the only player actually within this compound. Defending it against war kids right now. Interesting angle for the Molotov. Actually almost gets a couple there. Remember, without the x-ray vision, you can't actually see what we do through the smoke. So it wasn't that clear that they had to move in, but everyone is coming in now. Rafa being hunted. Really, we should be looking at Rafa cam. The war kids rotate into the rest of this concrete. Oh no, dogs are thinking that a rotate around would be okay, but Lemoik saying absolutely not. Rafa getting shots onto one and actually downing uh, Jones as well, but unfortunately then getting flanked. So the war kids here taking M-Force apart. Still zone one. We suspect zone two 
can potentially be just as trolly, maybe even keep the islands in, because that would be fun for the rest of the stream. Let's go ahead and stay on this view now and see what happens. Besiktas now rotating in as our Na'Vi. It doesn't look like an island finish is likely. Sorry, everyone. All good for these teams, though. They're going to want to be practicing uh, some of these circles. Na'Vi just south of Picardo now. Very, very late on the rotation. Might have to deal with the War Kids when they come in. Depends on whether they want to go south around Los Leones. They can still go around this way, of course. Can still go around this way. The next circle should rotate away from the water as well. So most of the teams that are currently in circle two will also be in circle three. Sanpai very close to the road where the war kids are going to be moving through. I think the war kids already know he's there, so. No surprises there. They're actually taking a different route in going further south, not wanting to risk losing a member of their team early. They could still pop up to scout on top of this ridge, but I think they've got bigger fish to fry at this point. Yeah, they are. They're going to keep going. Not that much further. I just want to grab this compound, see if this one is free. They will spot the Tempest are rotating out of it, and that's actually their cue to move in. So that's good. That's them there. Tornado Energy fighting in the meantime against the Nuclear Penguins. And the Adepts. Where on earth are the Adepts? Oh, the Adepts already inside here on the mountain are going to be playing third party here. Bogart is down. And Example will take out Hellscream to make sure the team is down as well. So we're down to 14 teams in the 10 and a half minute mark. Millman and Alia moving in to join Example now. Quizzy, unfortunately, died a little earlier. And Sampai has been taken out by the War Kids. So we were talking about him earlier. Looks like the War Kids did push in on that compound. Oh, what happened there? Hang on. The War Kids did push in on that compound, and that will be that. The Adepts opting to stay close to the edge here. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work for them, unless their plan is to rotate down south through the road to where Game Frame are now when the circle moves in, because there's a good chance that won't actually be in the next circle. So we will wait and see. In the meantime, actually things being relatively peaceful at the moment. Paige shooting something south, but there really isn't anything there. Na'Vi have opted to go south the Lost Leonis, like we were talking about before. TSM versus Tornado Energy. Looks like it's going to be flavor of the month at the moment. Iro with a lovely position from up top, saying, do you want me to finish Melman? Oh, thank you. He's going to wait, for example, to start rezzing. Oh, this is beautiful. Wait for it. And now. Thank you very much. I will take those points. And that is two members incapacitated for Tornado Energy. What are we going to do with the rest? Diggory from downtown is now going to take a couple of shots against Iroh. But that is uh, certainly the damage done. Very nicely played there from Iroh. K-Mind currently down. But we'll get revived by Ibby relatively quickly. Team Liquid, once again, have the centermost compound. And because I think the circle is going to end up being somewhere on this main road, I think Team Liquid are very well placed. It's possible it moves off to the right to join Game Frame, or possibly up north to join TSM. But usually I would expect one of these roads to be the focal point. But they've actually got... Five points in the bag with all four left alive so far in this game. Team Liquid now wrapping around. This could be big. It's K-Mind and Mexi against Squeaky, Tixu, and Diggory. Excellent frag grenade. Takes down Squeaky very quickly indeed. And that is a refrag to start things off. Tixu might be able to go for the quick res. Molly coming out to try and stop uh, Squeaky from getting res, but that won't be successful. Now Team Liquid are going to be forced out of the compound at the same time as Ends in 2v3. Big decision to be made here. Mexi leaves in a vehicle. Has K-Mine got one as well? Is there a bike in there? There isn't. K-Mine is going to be moving out on foot. 
controversial. And seem to be okay with him getting away with it, though. Rustamar goes down elsewhere. Still the three uh, the three people that were in that compound are going to have to rotate out for Ents. Take a look at where people are moving in the, the next circle. TSM, playing edge, happy to be there. Team Liquid on top. Ents now needing to move back to the 9 o'clock position. Once again, not really much they can do from there. Na'Vi have got this compound and have got Jemti right in front of them. Jemti does not want to move a muscle right now. In the meantime, the Adepts and Game Frame looking like they're going to be playing a private game of hide and seek on the east side. And if no one wins that, then TSM are going to come in over the top and potentially take everyone. Thirty seconds left until we zone in for zone six. Tekka's getting absolutely destroyed there by Omican. Party Beetle now having to play the snake strategy. We're into the top seven, so keeping yourself alive might have benefits down the line for the number of placement points you can get. Starting to get into the serious point now. Here's Noki. And there's TSM. There was no key, unfortunately. The Adepts eliminated in 7th place. Now we have Party Beetle. Slightly further along. Our TSM going to get that far in. I think Miracue's gonna Miracue is in the process of being spotted. And Miracue will indeed get knocked. Party Beetle goes down, but Miracue unfortunately is taking just a little bit too much damage. Game frame gets eliminated, but TSM down to two. Fex and Iro, the only two people left on the team, but they have got five kills to their name. Team Liquid coming in behind them now from the north side. They potentially could be moving around to the right. Navi, though, with a drop right next to them. Might be looking to push very aggressively onto Omicron, but they can't because Ents have third partied from the west and Squeaky is going to do irreversible damage, I think, to the tab because his nearest teammate, Senya, is on the drop and there is nothing he can do about it. Team Liquid versus TSM over here on the right-hand side. Bex wanting an opportunity to res Iro. <laughs> Not necessarily getting it at the moment. Having to heal himself before moving out to assist a teammate. And just as that first aid was finishing, gets spotted by Team Liquid. So that's TSM out in fourth place. A very credible finish for the boys there. Let's see how that stacks up to the competition. Team Liquid have won two games so far. Can they win three? They'll have to do it without Mexi. You get spotted out by Ents and dispatched. Ents on eight kills so far. And they're in the top three. So this is a strong haul of points for Ents. Although it has to be said, only two alive here. Best of luck, I think, finishes off Senya to deny the point. So it's a 3v2v1. V1. We've got Na'Vi versus Team Liquid versus Ents. Tixu with my... Oh, close to dream loadout there. And Borg and an SLR. But it's not enough to beat Ibi to the punch with a barrel. Strong amount of damage getting done there, and K-Mine almost getting the finish. That's Ibi with the uh, frag grenade, unfortunately, to finish things off there. So Diggory and Tixu both gone, Ent eliminated, leaving Team Liquid and Na'Vi. It's going to be a 3v1. Na'Vi versus Team Liquid. Best of luck, the only player left. Spots at least two of these players. Best of luck, such a great fragger. the opportunity here to look for those points. Ibi making best of luck work. For, sing for his supper. Trying to focus on one angle at a time. Not really successfully doing much there. He's got the pan out. I think he realizes it's a 1v3. He wants to pan them. I think Team Liquid are okay with it. Oh, we're gonna see a pan fight. Oh, we're going to see a pan fight. Let's go. Best of luck dropping his weapons. Jeems, Ippy, and K-Mind. 
Oh, it's a fist fight. It's going to be a one on one to start Jeems first up. And Besselock will down Jeems. He's looking for the next challenger now. Is it going to be Ibby or is it going to be K Mind? It's Ibby! Besselock doing an incredible job, I have to say, so far. Jeems is just going to bleed out. Oh, and everyone dropping their gear now as well. I think K Mind's going for the res while Ibby fights. Yes, he is. Bestelok's not getting out of this one alive. I'll tell you that. He's dropped his guns anyway. And here we go. Bestelok versus Ibby. Ibby doing an incredible job. Only taking 30 damage to dispatch Bestelok. And that is Team Liquid with the hat trick of wins. That's three in a row for the boys in blue. And they will go on to Erringal with a 100% winning record on Miramar. Well played to Na'Vi in second place and very nice to best of luck with the uh, boxing match at the end there. <laughs> Mad respect between these two teams and Ents doing a good job of finishing in third. That was game number three. We will be back shortly with Erringal.